Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to bake a loaf of freeform artisan bread on top of your wood stove. And um, what I'm doing right now is I've picked out my pan that I prefer, which is uh, a rounded one. I've gone ahead and oiled it using olive oil. I'm not going to set that directly on the wood stove because you'd scorch your bottom, so I just use a canning ring to keep it just high enough. Right now, um, getting a little over 300 degrees, pushing 325. Um, I also heat the lid. Um, that way when I put this under there, it um, doesn't have like a, a temperature change, like cold lid on the hot pot would drop it. So, okay, well I showed you that. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my, um, to my master recipe, you can go back to the videos and see that recipe for my no-need artisan bread. I'm going to add about a pound and a half uh, loaf to this, and I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, we have added the loaf to the pan, and I gave it a gluten cloak, which is you rub a layer of flour over it, and I took a serrated knife, and I sliced it three times. This helps it... Um, expand and raise and uh, kind of sometimes prevents blowouts meaning like like I might get one right there that little bit of dough might push out but um, cooking a free form in a pan like this kind of makes it not so much free form anymore but I'm going to let this raise for about 30 minutes and it was a little too hot on the bottom when I put the dough in so I did a double um, stack of rings to raise it up just a bit and we're not going to want to um, we're not going to want to put the lid on until this is raised for about 30 minutes um, you don't want to start baking it now so you want to let that heat escape and just let it rise and then um, alright well I'll show you I'll be back in 30 minutes to show you when it's risen okay it's been 30 minutes and as you can see, it's raised really nicely. Um, if you can't tell the difference, well, you can tell the, the slits I made have opened up. More so on this side than that side, but um, I think I actually cut that one deeper. But uh, one thing I do that you don't have to do, but I like to do it, um, I have my little um, you know, meat thermometer, and I cook this bread at 350 for an hour. And right now, with it just laying, on top of there, um, it's 109 ish degrees. So now I'm going to add my hot lid. And uh, see if that jumps up. It did by a few points. And uh, yeah. When that hits 350, I'm gonna um, put the timer on for an hour and let it bake. And if it climbs above 350 or below 350, um, then the alarm will go off once I, you know, I can set it differently. Um, I can either drop it or raise it. Right now, it is um, on double. See how I did that? Um, it's on double rings. So, if I have to, I can um, go ahead and lower it, and I can even raise it too, it just takes a little bit more, uh, I don't know, balancing act. <laughs> um, this works great, um, don't heat yourself out of house and home it, just to bake on the wood stove. I mean, it's winter time right now, and it's getting pretty darn cold outside, so... It's uh, a little hotter than usual. See, right now, we're we're just at 200 degrees. Where we we're close to what was it, 325 or something like that. So I mean, I'll I'll keep wood on it, but we don't want to scorch the bottom of our bread. So um, I might actually come back and I usually use a different pan. This one works good too, though. And add tin foil because you see this little gap. It's gonna let a lot of steam escape and and. Uh, I want that nice chewy bread. You're basically mimicking um, when you slide your artisan bread onto your stone and you have um, a 
pan on the bottom that you pour cold water into. Make sure it's not glass or cast iron. Um, you get cookie sheet works really. Uh, four sided cookie sheet works well. Or you just put a pan of water in there to evaporate. Um, this acts like that. It, it convects that water. It goes around and around and around. Um, so I think I'll go ahead and add some tin foil to this just to help that. Okay, well, we'll be, I'll be back when it hits 350. All right. Okay, we hit 350, and then what I did is, um, and this was solely for you guys, um, for people who were just starting off. I took it off of the top of the bread and I stuck it in the bread. A lot of people don't realize that you can actually, um, you can check for doneness in your bread with a meat thermometer. Um, however, like, let's say this is technically done around 210, but I'm capturing moisture in there, um, and, and I don't want it mushy. I think that's gross. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to let that go probably to about 220, 225, until I have a really good brown golden crust. And, and I shouldn't do this, so this is how much I like you. Um, I'm going to take this off and show you how we're looking here. See? Here we go. I'm going to wait till it's golden brown. And, uh, make sure that I got that back on straight. Yep. And I, I'm right at 300 degrees. And I'm sure it's hotter than out on the surface, it's just sitting there. Um, we know that it's 216 on the inside of that, 17 on the inside of that bread, so, um, alright, well, the next time I show you this bread, it will be done. Alright, see you in a bit. Okay, here it is, all done and a beautiful golden color. I'm going to switch it around. The only imperfection it has is from, I took the foil off and it took a little bite out of it and where I stuck the um, temperature gauge into it. So I'm going to take this off of here and put it onto a cooling rack and I'll show you it in a second. Okay, I've taken it out of the cast iron dish and you can see that the bottom that the flour barely even brown doesn't burn. That's really imperative to have it up on those um, canning rings. Um, it turned out absolutely perfect. <laughs> that right there is from the um, meat thermometer gauge. And then you can see where I took it out and I, I stuck it into here. But it's really nice um, and moist. And this produces that, not so much like when you have it on a pizza stone and it gets really 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 crunchy this is a nice chewy um crust <laughs> that uh, word escaped my mind apparently but no it's great the bottom is beautifully browned and uh i cooked this for free on top of my wood stove and uh we will have it with dinner tonight so i hope you enjoyed the video um have any questions at all, you can ask me on here or on my Cold Creek Homestead Facebook page or any of the thing like that. Just email me whatever you want. So you have a good one and we'll see you later.